How you doing folks? Uh, I'm going to kind of hit another part of form, which is your release. Uh, that's something I've been kind of working on, especially with the new glove. I'm using the Bear Paw uh, Speed Glove. I uh, really like that glove. It gives you a, a, a real slick, real quick release, so I'm having to get used to that glove. But uh, your release is, is a lot, is kind of in the middle. After you get to full drawn, you got your back tension. And uh, what I like to do when I draw and is just roll my fingers forward a little bit. And I do a deep hook. So with that, you know, it'll rest inside those first digits at your first joint. And it'll hold there. And I just come forward just a little bit and come back and right when I get ready to release I just kind of relax my hand and it automatically goes out and the back tension just kind of draws me back. Uh, think about release, you got to make sure you're when you release you're in alignment with your arrow. Uh, body alignment is is important because uh, if you're trying to pull away you're gonna make your bow arm when you pluck you make your bow arm work harder than what it needs to uh, you know, by plucking because you can't get your fingers away. If you're trying to open them up or you're just pulling back and keeping them stiff instead of trying to have a relaxed release. Uh, I found, for me, having a relaxed, you know, release hand and when I get back, there's going to be some tension because of the weight of the string, but once you release, it should just all go away. It should just be like fully relaxed and you're coming back to your second anchor if you have one but if you're pulling away from your face you're going liable to the string ain't going to move fast enough to get out from your hand you're liable to pull it while you're trying to get away from it so I always try to make a mental note to come straight back and that keeps me in alignment with my arrow and uh, you know that's just something that's part of the form that I'll work on that and my bow arm and mental focus. Those three things right there will cause a lot more misses. And I think, in my opinion, and body alignment or body to arrow alignment is another one. You know, if, if you still, I, I kind of shoot split vision, so I can kind of, I'm aware of my tip, so I can see if I'm a, aligned or out of alignment. So, <clears throat> Once I get in alignment and my release is good, it should just go straight to where my where I hold my bow arm steady at. So if you start plucking, your bow arm moves. It's liable to go to right, left. You know you'll miss up and down. Depends on how you come back. I've I've, I've made mistakes where I released and come up, and I and it kind of drew my bow arm up. So. I've been really, you know, working on just getting it, just release it and come straight back. And that gives you a good, you know, with your air alignment and it doesn't throw you out of a line by plucking. So I hope this helps and I hope y'all have a great day. And uh, always, you know, when you practice, is is it's good to work on your form and basically slow it down. And uh, you'll know your your mind takes a good, uh, a good mental notes of what good shots are, and you know once you get once you get used to shooting with a good release, and then you'll notice if something's off or whatnot, you know, and if it's you know it goes really way off or your air flies funky, you know, plucking can cause your air to fly funky, undo noise to your bow, you know. I'm a hunter, so I want my release as clean and quick as as it needs to be, so it doesn't add any more noise to the bow than what it already has. So I hope this helps, and I hope y'all have a great day, and God bless.